and we begin with the story we've been following all afternoon. The breaking news out of Racine, a shooting during a burial at Graceland Cemetery. Now here's a map showing you where that cemetery is located. It sits right in a residential neighborhood. Bruce Harrison's been on the ground in Racine all afternoon. Bruce, what can you share with us? Steve, Shannon, we were able to speak with some family uh, who were at this funeral, and they tell us that five family members were hit by gunfire. Um, five family members of the man who was being buried this afternoon. Uh, we also had an opportunity to speak to the funeral home who was arranging this service. And if you can see in the distance there, that is the site of the burial. Uh, the funeral home told us no staff was injured and racing police. They've confirmed multiple victims were shot, but have not shared any condition on injuries. Family also have not been able to tell us how badly people were injured. Now, this family, it's the family of a man named Deshante King. He was shot and killed by police here in Racine on May 20th. Police tell us they had stopped King while he was driving in Racine and he ran from the car with a gun. Police say an officer shot and killed King during a foot chase. The chief of police here in Racine also told us that King, and these are his words, made an action uh, that led to the officer shooting. Now, I've been able to speak with several people who heard the shooting this afternoon, including a man who lives just two blocks away. His name's Ray Blant Brantley. Uh, he was picking up his daughter from school when he heard the shot, and his son was nearby playing basketball and almost hit by the gunfire. Who in their right mind would go and shoot up a funeral in broad daylight? Those people who are attending the funeral, they weren't a part of what happened. Yeah. So why are we shooting at innocent people? I just don't understand. There was a barrage of gunfire and we could hear bullets whistling past us and we just ran away um, towards my car. My brother was, me and my brother were yelling run. Um, so everybody took off. And Racine police want the public to know if you have any video of this afternoon shooting, you should send it to them by email. You can see those emails now on your screen and an investigator uh, will review that video and then may follow up with you. That's it for now. Reporting live in Racine, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. All right, Bruce, thank you. Now this